Amiya Bonsai Village in Masahiko Kimura. After our visit with Mr. Morami and Nichishi we drove to see Masahiko Kimura. Although I visited Mr. Kimura twice yearly for over 30 years, the beauty of his trees is always refreshing. However, during this visit I noticed a great number of new bonsai. I asked him how many new bonsai he had, and he said many in a quick count there were at least a dozen. Now, 12 new trees might not seem like a great amount, however these were giant bonsai, too and three man trees, some with trunks wider than my waist. I wondered about this, and then remembered the day, before I saw several Kimura masterpiece bonsai at Kobayashi's Shunka and Bonsai Museum in Tokyo. Upon inquiry in Tokyo, I was told all the trees in the one section were sold and will be soon shipped to China. So, I guess Mr. Kimura had to bring new bonsai from his private area behind his home to his front display area to fill empty spots. Be on the watch for new rock plantings by Mr. Kimura. After a delicious luncheon at the bonsai restaurant operated by Maki and Yashi Nakamizu we crossed the street to see the Amiya Bonsai Art Museum. During the winter season Japanese flowering apricot and deciduous bonsai are displayed in the large, open-air garden. And there were no weeds anywhere. In fact it would be difficult to find any weeds in the Amiya Bonsai Village. We first visited Mansei and Bonsai Garden operated by Hitsuji Kato and his son Harahiko, a fourth and fifth generation bonsai artist and dealer. The garden was packed with bonsai of all temperate species, Saseki and large size bonsai including a giant silverberry. We walked through the village stopping by Seiko and Bonsai Garden and Kaihuka and Bonsai Garden on our way to the last stop of the day, Fio and Bonsai Garden. Although Mr. Takeyama was not home, but on his way from Tokyo, his wife and staff allowed us to take photos of the trees. The Japanese flowering apricot bonsai were nearly in full blossom and filled the air with spicy aroma. For the first time I noticed inexpensive new Chinese containers. They were not being used, but rather sat under the tables, perhaps aging. This was a long day for our group but we saw a lot of beautiful and distinctive bonsai. 